Hello my friends and welcome to Fun with Plants and Cats. My name is Katie and on today's episode we are going to be repotting my 13 foot indoor money tree. And on that note, let's repot a giant plant. So for anyone new to my channel, I'm the proud owner of a giant money tree. It was given to me last year when it was 10 feet tall and over this past year it's grown another 3 feet, so it's a whopping 13 feet tall. Overall, I've had a great experience owning this tree and I have a whole playlist dedicated to fun videos that I've made with it. As I mentioned earlier, this tree was a gift to me. While this is one of the most generous and tremendous gifts I've ever gotten in my life, it's also a tremendous burden. At some point, I knew I would have to repot this plant and possibly restake it, but I didn't know when that would be or what that would even look like. Now, I've done many a repot in my time as a plant owner, but nothing to the scale of this tree. This is like the Mount Everest equivalent of a repot, so I decided to hire some folks who have experience with repotting gigantic plants, and they were kind enough to let me film the process. So let's talk about why this plant needs to be repotted, and the main reason is that I'm pretty sure this plant is root bound. So when a plant is root bound, that means that there's not enough soil for the roots to be able to get their nutrients from. So the plant ends up sort of slowly starving to death. So if you see signs of your plant being root bound, it's a good idea to replant it into a larger pot. So what are the signs of your plant being root bound? Well, one of them is that the top of the soil, if you put a moisture meter in there, or if you kind of wiggle it around with your finger, the top, maybe one or two inches, feels extremely dense. So here I am using a moisture meter, and it's like I literally can't even get through this top layer, and that means that it's probably root bound, that the roots have just encircled this plant, and they are depriving it of nutrients. If your plant is not root bound, you should be able to at least wiggle your finger, get in there maybe like an inch, and that's when you know that you are in a place where you don't need to repot your plant. Another sign that your plant is root bound is if your plant has a drainage hole and you look at the very bottom and you see your roots coming out, that could be a sign that you might need to size up your pot. Another reason why I know this plant needs to be repotted is that the lower leaves started to die off. And now I'm not talking about one or two, which is pretty normal, especially for older plants. I'm talking about like a bunch of them started to just fall off while there was new growth coming off at the top, which is great. There wasn't enough nutrients to sustain both the new growth and the old growth. So a lot of the older leaves were just falling off and it's kind of left a little bit of a bald patch, especially in the midsection of the tree, which is fine because it'll grow back and it'll fiddle itself out. But that's just a telltale sign that this plant needs to be put in a larger pot. So the first thing my plant friends did was lay down a tarp to prevent dirt from getting all over my house. And for anyone wondering whether this tree is heavy or not, in one of my previous videos, I actually picked this tree up and weighed it, and it was 23 pounds. So this is a really light tree despite its ginormous size. One of the plant friends was holding the base of the stem and pushing up, while the other was firmly holding onto the pot. This method worked out very well because this tree literally popped out no problem whatsoever. This tree was incredibly root bound. When I touched the root ball, it felt completely solid. So repotting it was a good call. Sometimes it can be difficult to get a plant out of its old pot, but this seemed pretty easy. The tree being root bound ended up working in our favor because everything came out in one piece, including all of the stakes. The new pot is 16 inches in diameter and it's plastic, while the old pot was a 12 inch terracotta pot. I decided to go with a plastic pot simply because it's a lighter material, and if I ever have to lift or move this tree around, it'll weigh less than if it were in a terracotta pot or a ceramic pot. The next step is to fill the new pot about a third of the way with soil and place the tree inside the pot. One of the cool things about this repot is that all of the old stakes that were supporting this tree remained in the old root ball, so we didn't have to remove any of them. The stakes were previously secured with strings and zip ties, and we removed all of them. We replaced them with the stretchy plant string. I don't recommend using zip ties on your plants because they cause indents and they are not great for plant health. Sadly, these marks are permanent, but the stretchy string that we used is much gentler and will expand with the plant.
There are three main stems on this tree, and here we are tying the largest two together with plant tape. If we don't do this, the stems are going to droop quite a bit. Initially, we thought we wouldn't have to add extra stakes to this plant, but as the tree was fully potted, I took a step back to look at the tree, and the highest stems looked droopy and a little lopsided. The plant friends brought an extra seven foot tall stake just in case, and they ended up using it for extra support so the stems don't lean as much. When the tree was repotted, restaked, and retaped, I took another look at the tree to see whether it was standing straight this time, and it still wasn't. This tree needed more support, so the plant friends repotted this plant once again to reposition it in the soil so it stands straight. With a little maneuvering and trial and error, this plant was successfully repotted, and I couldn't be more relieved. And thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever had a potting situation go wrong or surprisingly right like in my video today. Once again, thank you so much for watching and if you'd like to see more videos like this, please hit like and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Bye!